Today I'm going to show you how you can actually do a face swap in mid-journey using a powerful new open source tool. So this is Inside Face, which is uh, an open source project which uh, basically makes all this happen. Here's how you can set it up. Now in Discord, you're going to want to create a server. So you hold, scroll down the left here to the little plus button and click that. Just create your own server for you and your friends. Doesn't matter if you don't invite anyone. Give it a name. I'm going to call it Inside Face and click Create. From there, we now have our server. All I need to do is hit the link I'm gonna pop in the description below, and it's gonna add it to a server. So now you can select your new server, Insight Face, continue, and we're gonna authorize. And now we're good to go. But there is one more thing we need to do. Insight Face Swap is now on our server, but we actually don't have Midjourney on our server yet. So what we need to do is go into Midjourney here, go down to one of the rooms, like the newbie room, Click on Mid Journey Bot, and if you're on your phone, click the avatar, add that to our server, and we choose Insight Face and continue. Authorize. And now we're good to go. So now we want to go up, find our server, Insight Face, it'll just have an eye unless you upload an image. And now we can actually start to have some fun with this. Here we go down, we type in slash save ID on that and then we're going to actually upload a photo of our face as high resolution as we can. Ideally your photo should be a front view photo, high quality, you don't want to be wearing glasses, no heavy bangs which interferes for some reason and ID photos are preferred. I'm going to choose this image here and I'm going to call myself Wade MC because I want to give myself a name I can use and I hit enter. And the command has been sent. So I have face swap and mid journey added. I'm going to hit imagine and come up with a prompt. A snobby looking graphic designer sitting in a cafe that has been destroyed. Okay, so I have some images now. I actually created some, but the face is a bit too small. So I decided to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to upscale some of these and we're going to see exactly how it works. This image I think will be a good start. So I'm going to go up to the three dots, down to apps and use in swapper. So you see it's kind of added my eyes in there. Uh, it, done a, uh, it doesn't exactly look a ton like me, but uh, we'll try another image as well, like this one right here. Apps, in swapper. You can see how it's kind of added my eyes in there, which is pretty cool. But you can also just try this with other images. We'll try it with someone a little more clean shaven this time. And these images here are a little bit more focused on the face, so we'll experiment with some of those by upscaling. Take this image here, three dots, apps, in swapper, and also do the others as well. So some of these facial features do look a bit more like me, but not 100% like me. But overall, it's still a very interesting platform to play with. I do believe maybe the beard or the jawline might be some of the effect on this. I'm actually going to try a different photo. I'm going to try this guy and see what results we get with that also. So you can see that it has actually replaced the face pretty well. Now, obviously, the jawline can't really be replaced. And because his hair is different, you, uh, it is a little bit different than the actual photo. But overall, it's been a great job. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play with this moving forward. Overall, it's still a very interesting platform to play with. Have an experiment with it, see what you reckon. Let me know if your results are better than mine, but uh, I think this is still a work in progress as well and it will get better over time. Maybe I need to use a better image, but uh, I guess we'll find out. 